channel my name is brandy v and in today's video i'll just be doing like a get ready with me because i thought this was the right thing to do <laughs> especially since i've been gone for a little minute and um i've noticed i have some new subscribers i was gonna say followers but i definitely have some new subscribers and <clears throat> i just um really want to you know update you guys and let everybody know that don't know who I am who I am and um yeah you know just an update I haven't did one since like 2018 and I think I'm pretty due for a like a quick you know update and um get to know me tag kind of you know so, okay, I'm going to start off doing my eyebrows and you guys, if you haven't yet got a chance to um go look at my last video, make sure you do that, please. I would appreciate it. Also, what was I on? I was, oh yeah, I was talking about my name and all that stuff. Um, I'm 25. I part-time... Um, work in the medical, well, I don't want to say the medical field. I mean, I do, but I'm not like a nurse or I wish I was or anything like that. Um, I work in behavioral health. I can definitely say that. I'm a licensed cosmetologist. Um, I don't think that I'm like a hairstylist or anything like that. When I was in hair school, I did find joy in doing natural hair. Like, I know for sure I can definitely clip some ends. I can wash some hair and flat iron some hair, like, really good. If, you know, I was to be in a shop, which I'm not, I want to be in one. Um, I would definitely do that. And the main reason I went to cosmetology school was for makeup because that's what I love to do and I actually you know take clients anyways if I was in a shop I would definitely be doing um natural hair like that's my thing I know I'm good at it and you know that's what I like to do I'm I actually had plans today to go I hate when I do that to go to the makeup store you guys but however however but <laughs> that didn't happen like i be on the move and the go you know and also if you're like a old subscriber and you've been watching like your girl got her car okay i got my car <laughs> and i'm super happy but life is really has been really sweet and i've been really super duper happy like i don't have anything to complain about um i know i still have some things to work on some things that i want to accomplish but i know that i need to just take everything like one step at a time because I know I could become really um, impulsive and just start doing stuff. And I don't want to just start doing stuff. I want to be for sure in the steps that I take. I want to take my time and be patient. Because like I said, I move fast and I'm really impulsive. So, I'm actually, I've gotten that under control. <laughs> but yeah really just be you know trying to work on me like when I go missing or whatever I just it's because I've become fed up and I need silence like with my own thoughts to get my own stuff together again like do y'all ever go through 
like phases like that where you just don't want to talk to anybody don't want to you just don't want to interact like and i know a lot of times you do have to unplug especially with social media uh because that can become overwhelming with just people's opinions wow really what's going on in the neighborhood like i was saying social media be can become really overwhelming so it's important to unplug i think it's healthy for everybody to uh just unplug you know just take your time take time out your day to not be in tune with the outside world i think it's important to just you know be in solitude and <coughs> coronavirus <laughs> um just learn to love yourself and be your own company for a quick second just have your own thoughts with you and god or you know whoever is your upper higher <laughs> and um connect because if you don't you can really lose your mind okay and like i said it's just really important to be one with you and some people don't have to do that but me for my own self i feel like i do have to do that i have to do that every once and now and again because it'd be like i said it just becomes too much and i can't deal with it Sometimes even friends don't even really realize that, you know, like you just need to distance yourself even from them because people don't realize, I think that, you know, not intentionally, you know, that that they are even noticing that they pour their, their problems on you and, you know, their energy onto you and you can soak it up and i don't want to do that like i don't <clears throat> some days i just can't i can't answer my phone you know and i just some days i just don't want to talk and that's just how it is um i know i'm not the only one i know that i'm not the only one that get like this but i do have to get like this to just protect my own peace is what i'm saying basically and um i have i'm not gonna say i lost friends but i did i've lost friends in a way because i wasn't honest too about not wanting um space which i should have been really honest about um but People, even, you know, your bestest of best friends can become tiring, at least to me, you know, and I don't want to Apollo go through that because I've, I'm getting older and I just want to have peace in my life. You know, I don't want to be worried about things or you know other people right now or that you know i don't i don't want to i don't i don't want to do it like and i feel like my own self i'm really sometimes you know i say what's on my mind sometimes but sometimes i hold stuff in as well because i don't want to hurt the other person and once i do you know let it all out um I let it all out, you know, and I don't, I had to stop, I had to learn to stop doing that because I don't want to blow up at the last minute. I want to just be able to be honest and just, you know, say that's what it is when that's what it is, you know, I don't know, <laughs> but yeah, friends need to understand you know, their boundary. I'm just saying, you know, um, that things happen, you know, stuff happens and people outgrow and that's okay. Just like a relationship, friendships outgrow as well too. As far as relationships with me, um, I, 
I should have probably done my hair first, but whatever. I am dating. That is it. I don't have a boyfriend. <laughs> I don't have a man. Like, I know, I mean, I think that I'm a little confusing or whatever, but that's okay because guys are really confusing as well. And one thing about a man, he's going to show you, you know, what he wants from you. So I had to learn to just take my time and just do what I want to do because depending on, you know, who you mess with, people, certain people are always going to be, you know, there in your life. And I just think it's timing with a lot of things. And you can come back, always reconnect. You know what I'm saying? But I'm gonna let this sit on my face for a little bit. I'll be right back. Let's get started and um, finish what I was doing. But another reason why I'm single is because um, I haven't really like found anybody that can make me care. <laughs> um, guys, they are crazy. I feel like today. I don't know if they want to be the girlfriend or what, you know, and that's just not my style. So I tend to not attach myself to anybody and i'm really good at it <laughs> i i don't really care for real i don't um and that's just me being selfish right now and i think i have the right to do that because i'm young and um i have other things that i'm more focused on right now so i have that option to do that i feel like and whoever wants to stick around and be my friend and stuff like that that's cool and you you know we can do that but i don't i know what i i know what i don't want and i know what i want <laughs> i'm not gonna settle i refuse and i'm just having my fun right now that's it having my way but yeah you guys i'm i have been really happy for a really long time right now um the wig that i'm using today this is if i'm not wrong i hope i'm not wrong this is a eunice wig i'm gonna show you a picture let me take some of this makeup off my forehead but yeah if you pay attention to my intro i'm wearing it in my intro but I will have everything linked down below so you will know if you want to purchase you a wig like this, you can. Um, let me, I need to comb it out. I, I don't know where my wig brush is, but I'm going to comb it out because I washed it and it's not really this type of wave or curl or anything like that. <laughs> It, I don't know why I did that, but I know it's n n like it's a straight texture type hair. So, I had to turn my lights off for a quick second because I had to plug in my blow dryer. And I need a, what's the name, a, um, the thing with all the outlets on it.
Okay, so I had to take it off and put it back on. <laughs> but I'm just spray down my perimeter. I know I look probably crazy to y'all right now, but that's the beauty of everything. It has to look crazy before it can look good. Rose for my channel the upcoming year. I wanna um I wanna get like a million on one of my videos. That's what I want to do. I don't even have a subscriber goal that I want to reach because I know that it's gonna come, you know. But I know for sure I want to do a million view video. I need to figure out what I'm gonna do, how I'm gonna do it, plan it out. And get it done so I can do that. <laughs> Since I got my car, my next goal now is to get me a place. I've been working like crazy to do that. So I know soon that's going to happen. Like I said, I just, now I'm all about having patience and stuff. Because I like to do things fast. And then I don't want to get myself in there, like any crazy predicament that I can't get myself out of. Um, I'm trying to be more planned and organized with myself, you know live a more adult <laughs> adult life i don't know why i always do this after i put my lashes on but yeah this was getting done anyways 2020 has been a really good and uh bad year i feel like for a lot of us you know a lot of people might say it was good for them and a lot of people might say it was bad for me <laughs> I'm going to just say that it definitely has been an experience. <laughs> um, this year has been really shocking to us all, especially since we've all never have really been like, you know, this old enough to understand what's going on in the world. <laughs> so this year has been an eye opener. And like I said, it's been a blessing in disguise for a lot of us. And probably for some of us, if this is your opinion, you might say it's been, you know, not a not so good year for you. But all in all, um, I feel like everything happens for a reason. As far as like, you know, the, the things that go on in the world nothing is going to last forever and i'm just learning to try to be more optimistic about things and not worry about you know things that i can't change you know of course you want to be active and involved in the stuff you know that goes on but yeah it's just it's just been a crazy year y'all like a really crazy year i've lost a lot of family members that i did not expect to lose and i'm really sad that life happened you know <laughs> um but like i've been saying though nonetheless i'm really grateful i'm really happy and i don't think anybody can take that from me right now i'm really really happy um I'm understanding a lot more and I feel like I'm maturing. So I'm not saying like it's um, like I have all the answers or anything, but it's I'm not being so hard on myself like I used to be. And life for my own self has gotten a lot easier because um, I'm learning to think stuff through. I'm being patient and prayer, God, you know, above all God. And I'm really just content. I'm happy. I don't even want to say content, but I'm happy. I am happy above all. I really am. So that's what I'm really am thankful for. You know, despite everything that has happened this year, I'm really just, I'm happy. Because we don't know what we're going to get out of this. We don't know what's on the other side. And this looks crazy, but it's going to look better. I promise. <laughs> Um, I need to, um, 
I need to get the hot comb. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to be right back, y'all. Um, I'm going to put some oil in my hair. Just so, you know, give it that shine a little bit. This is just a little bit of uh, vitamin E oil. I do try to keep like glue on my um on my edges because this glue has like really dried my skin out like I, could, I was trying to say face and skin but yeah it really has dried me out and I didn't ever think that I could ever that could ever happen to me because I'm so oily but things do happen sure but I just want to do this really quickly. I don't know what kind of um I want to do um, yeah I think I'm going to do a side part it's not going to be as deep though So I'm just basically like finishing up my makeup a little bit um, cause like I don't really add a lot or do a lot too much anymore cause I've really been meaning to like go sh makeup shopping so yeah. gonna curl it I gotta turn my lights in the back in the back back off but let's get to this get um they get hot pretty quickly Cute. He just loves looking to the camera, Pops. Look. You see the people? was not my plan but yeah I totally forgot to do this piece
I definitely know I need my curlers because I don't like how crinkly it looks. What do you guys think? Um, I just want to say, um, if you enjoy this video, make sure you leave a comment down below. Make sure you um, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you like what you see, you know. Um, I love you all so much. And um, I just want to say that 2021 is going to be a really great year for us all. Um, I'm really just happy and I'm confident in the future. Um, follow me on social media. I'll have that somewhere on the screen. And as always, like I always say, I love you guys so much. And I will see you guys in my next video.